When Evan King takes the court, you can expect one heck of a show. I, mean, I love playing home matches. I mean, in the juniors, you don't really get as much crowd support as you do in college tennis, so I'm just having fun with it, taking advantage of it, and just enjoying my time at Michigan. As a sophomore, Evan King has already accomplished so much in a Michigan uniform. Last season, he was an All-Big Ten pick, playing atop the lineup in singles and doubles for the Wolverines, and was Michigan's first recipient of the Big Ten Freshman of the Year Award in 20 years. He's got all of the skills. You know, some of the skills need to be refined, and we feel like he needs to continue to mature in, in his approach to his craft. Um, but really, he can do anything. I'm a pretty smart player. I'm pretty quick around the court. Fiery, I guess. Um, I just enjoy my time out here, and that just usually works for me. He's been pushed, and he's been challenged, and he knows when he's playing at the top of the lineup, nothing's going to be easy. So I think he's got a better appreciation for the competition and a, you know, a good, healthy dose of respect for college tennis. And he loves being here, so it's, uh, it's been fun to watch him. his skills improve and his maturity continue to advance throughout his time. Evan has aspirations of leading the Wolverines to a Big Ten championship, something they haven't won since 1996. That would be unbelievable. Just get like a nice Big Ten ring right there, I mean, that would make my year. I'd love to make the Sweet 16 as a team, and it would be great to make the NCAA tournament, have a really good, strong singles and doubles year, and just keep improving my game so that when I'm done with college, I can still be successful. And don't be surprised if he becomes one of the all-time greats to ever wear the block out. That's a tall task, because you got people like Mel Washington on the wall, Dan Goldberg on the wall, I mean, NCAA finalist, Wimbledon finalist. I mean, that's definitely a goal that I have for myself, but I've got a long way to go before I do that. I think there's no question that he can do that. You know, will he do that? I think it's up to what he does on Monday through Friday. I, not, not just how he competes on Saturday and Sunday, but you know, the daily, the day-to-day -day experience of trying to become a, the best player he can be. For MGoBlue.com, I'm Brad Rudner. Thank you.